next year is going to be New Year's Day, and uh, I have not given uh, my New Year's uh, video. I've already done my roundup two weeks ago, and it looked like it was a good time to do it because I have found nothing of consequence these last couple of weeks. Combination of weather, shortness of day, etc., has kept my hunts very short, and my short hunts are just not producing right now. Uh, but uh, next year, uh, and this is basically what I'm saying about next year. Next year, uh, I'm going to be, uh, you know, uh, expanding my radius, mostly south toward the central parts of uh, of, uh, of my city, I'm north of Dallas. Uh, so I'm going to be going down that way, and I'm also expanding in my suburbs out, sort of, uh, sort of in a concentric circle to more and more areas. Fortunately, I'm in what appears to be a very detector-friendly area, which is one of the reasons I've stayed around here. You know, it's always an exploration when you go out into new areas. You have to determine what people are like. But uh, I'll detect these areas. I've had cops drive by, slow down and take a look at me and keep going. I had one uh, <laughs> policeman just drive by, park in, the, uh, park in the parking lot beside me while I detected, worked on his car, waved at me, and went on about his business. So, uh, and the park department has been very nice. Uh, all the guys have been nice. Uh, I've had park department employees come up and talk to me and ask me what am I doing and how does it work, etc. So uh, I, I couldn't have asked for a better area to detect, but, you know, you've got to move out. You've got to move around. Uh, but uh, basically, uh, you know, I've got the, my, the A team of machines, and guys don't think I forgot the Tesoros, but a couple of them I've loaned to friends, and they're, they're working on some things, so I don't actually have them all here right now. Uh, so, uh, but they will be coming back. My compadre is in the, is in the backseat of my car like it always is, just in case I find anything. But, uh, 2015, so, uh, I expect to be using, uh, you see on this end, I have my two mine labs. I have the Sovereign GT, which is, what is it, BBS or whatever the earlier version of FBS is. Um, I know it's bulletin board system from my, uh, from my computing youth, but there is also a system, I think it's, I don't know, Five to 50 kilohertz, which is the range this uses, and of course this is up to 100 kilohertz, 0 to 100 kilohertz, or whatever the lowest kilohertz rating is on the Safari. So uh, I'm going to be using these, uh, you know, uh, much more often. The Sovereign GT is just, it's, it's, it's darn heavy, so I have to, if I'm going to be doing that for any length of time, I need to swing aids, so that's probably why I use these slightly more often, though I do love the uh, Sovereign as well. Also, the Sovereign has the most, I think of all of these machines, the Sovereign has the most granular notch. I believe the Sovereign is the only machine out here that can eliminate probably a good percentage of trash and still find a gold ring or two. Not as much as if you weren't using notch, but uh, I think it can, I think it can, through my experiments and through some information I've got off YouTube, etc., and... I think it can actually find some things, valuable things, still maintain notch so I don't get all the pull taps. I know that's an ideal, idealist situation, and I know it doesn't work all of the time, or maybe not the majority of the time, but it is something to have in my quiver of, uh, of, uh, of system. And the Safari, I have come to the conclusion that the Safari is a tone machine that has numbers, because the numbers do get around a bit. I have found pennies everywhere from 34 to 38, 39. Uh, it, it's, it's amazing. So uh, I look at these machines, uh, and maybe the technetics is in between. These, the use of these machines, the Safari, now I'm not including the, uh, the, uh, the E-Track, which uses the same system, because it has a much more granular ID system than this. Because this is basically built on the Adventure series, minus whatever the 40 uh, range, um, you know, and it is so, it jumps around a bit, it's very accurate, but that range doesn't allow it to be accurate on the screen as much as an E-Track, you've got to use this as a tone machine. So there's a lot I need to learn about Safari, and because of that, I'm getting Andy Sabish's book on the Quattro and the Safari, and it is completely out of print, so... I had to go across the pond to my friends in Great Britain again, to Joan Allen. 
from all I've heard, Joan Allen is one of the preeminent uh, manufacturer, not manufacturers, uh, distributors of metal detecting equipment in the UK. At least I hear that name all the way. If, if I am misconstruing this, my UK people will certainly tell me. But, uh, you know, I just hear that name all the time. And they did have this book. Can't find it anywhere in the States, so I spent considerably more money <laughs> uh, buying the book from the UK. So I'm going to be using that to try to get control of this. The Technetics, the Fisher. Now these, the Fisher, to some degree, the Deus and the AT Pro, those are more, these are very accurate machines uh, by, their, by their ID. You know, as accurate as any metal detector is, of course, the trash is always going to be a factor. And also, I have more or less trouble this, you know how I like to uh, discriminate, if you've seen any of my previous videos, on the basis of size is how I cherry pick. I don't cherry pick on signals, but if it's large, I know I'm not looking for relics in my parks. So if it's large, I'm going to bypass it. So if it happens to be something magnificent, if it's too large, I'm probably going to miss it. I know that's a, a chance I'm taking. But... So that's basically what I'm going to tell you. These are going, these are my A team. There's a couple of Tesoros. There would be A, A minus A members of this. And Tesoros are great changer machines because these machines get tiring. I, I, I don't understand. It's the numbers, the the the, the alternatives, etc. And I just like to grab the uh, the Tesoros, which are just as complex in their reading, but not as complex in their setup, and just go out and detect. So, uh, that's basically what I wanted to tell you. I wanted to wish you a very, very, very happy new year, and I want to tell you that I'm going to be getting out. Uh, in fact, right now, we have a winter weather advisory for my area, so all you people who thought the, the weather was always great down here, we do have potential for ice storms for the next day and a half or two, so uh, it looks like I may be, uh, I may be inside for a bit. Yeah, and I need to get rid of this stomach. Yeah, I'm trying to get back up to doing 20 push-ups, and I'm an old guy, and uh, so that's not exactly easy for me. But I'm, I I started back at 5 in the last couple of weeks and got it back up to 12, so I'm not completely out of, uh, I'm not completely out of shape. So that's another, that's not going to be a New Year's resolution. That's just my plan for New Year's. I never keep my New Year's resolutions. In any case, uh, uh, that's all I've got, and like I said, uh, uh, this is Andy Savich's book on the, on the uh, XP uh, Deus. I love, love his books. I've had the one on the uh, E-Track and the, uh, the Explorer. And uh, now I'm waiting probably another week or, or so for it to go through the Royal Mail across the pond. God knows how long it'll take it to get through customs and then down here to Texas. In any case, I will uh, talk to you later and... Uh, have a great uh, 2015 and uh, keep subscribing. I'm going to keep turning out videos. I'm going to keep turning out videos if I don't get another subscriber because, heck, I'm addicted to it. I kind of enjoy it now. Uh, and you're going to be seeing a lot of live digs for me, especially during the winter because I'm going to be wearing those glasses because uh, it's very difficult to use those handheld cameras when you're, uh, when you're out with gloves on and as it gets cold in January, and it will get cold, even by most standards in Texas, for a short time, I'm going to, I'm not going to be taking my gloves off, I'm going to be just slapping on my uh, camera glasses, and uh, and uh, just, just going, and then it's going to be one heck of an editing job later. Anyway, this is Texas Tiger Diggs, and I will talk to you in 2015. I don't think I'm going to get out today. It might be a little bit icy, but I might if it's not. Who knows? <laughs> you have a wonderful day and a wonderful next year.